Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 4. We are continuing with our flamey sorcerer and uh, well we're uh, going to be moving on to the malignant in the ravening pit as we follow the new storyline. We've accelerated quite quickly through the first first eight levels. Let's uh, just check the stone cache. Nothing there. Yeah. And we now have a Hydra, which is certainly welcome. Oh, I, I love the fact that it goes thump, thump, thump. Let's get some iron chunks. I want to make sure we're picking uh, picking up resources as we go so we can continue to craft elixirs because those are going to be vital for continuing to survive at uh, World Tier 2. Okay, so we've got to kill the Berserkers. Let's get a Hydra out to help us. can actually have the Hydra doing a lot to help ahead of... A malignant heart. That gave us a caged heart. Interesting. So they can be placed in jewelry matching the sockets. Once socketed, it cannot be removed. Ooh. Okay, so this caged heart of spite can be inserted into devious. So these are vicious sockets. There's going to be some really cool effects to see. That's what I'm taking away from this. Let's get the club. We can't use it, but... Definitely having my Hydra working ahead of us. It's a very powerful skill. Okay, try and get his heart. Fire shield. one of the berserkers has been got what's this one so this is a brutal one after taking elemental damage gain resistance to that element for six seconds that's that's really cool that is an amazing ability At least will be if we can uh, actually get a bit of jewellery to put it in. Okay, let's heal up a little as we carry on. As it is, we're improving our resistances because of our passive skill when we attack, which is really cool. Let's not be under under that when it goes off. Um, but I do feel we could 
we could have more in the way of defensive abilities. Not gonna lie, Hydra is doing a lot of heavy lifting right now. Out of mana once again. <laughs> Out of mana once again. He sounds so disappointed in himself. It's like everything makes me tired. Big guy. Let's capture this heart. Shield to help out. It's really interesting that you have to kill them twice. Uh, so now we need to travel to the Rotting Bowels. Uh, ooh, this can go vicious. For each unique element you deal damage with, you gain extra damage for two seconds. Heart can be placed in a piece of gear with a heart already in it. It will destroy the original heart. Okay. Uh, Hydra. Get better. Definitely advancing with the Hydra doing just a lot of very big work. This guy's vampiric, so I'd rather get him killed quickly. Let's try and capture his heart. I'm out of mana. That was a little bit painful. Need you gone. Shaman is down. So this caged heart. That's a devious one, so we can't put it in. Have we done everything in this place? I don't think so. So let's keep exploring for the moment. We must progress the seasonal quest line in order to, to interact with it. Okay, so we're going to have to leave the dungeon. In order to see what this is about. <laughs> So, is there a fast way up to his thing? Not really. We'll have to teleport nearby. And then ride down to him. Which is fine. It's just, uh, you know, working out which order we need to do things in. We've got quite a few things out of that. That is better. So, let's use that. Mark it as junk. Mark that as junk. That's better. Mmm... It gives us more healing received, but other than that, it's not as good. That's not as good. That is better. And it's a staff. We're trying not to do staffs at the moment. You know what? I'll, uh, I'll clear out the junk items that we've marked off. 
There we go. In between the last episode and this one, I made us another iron bar elixir, which we'll drink when we're about to do something. Don't mind me, skeletons. Just on my way to the workbench. Ooh, looks like... That was a good time to come up here. That's definitely good. That's definitely good. Really unexpected to have them chase us all the way over here. Right. So, Malignant Invokers. Invokes a powerful brutal malignant foe from the indigo malignant pustules found within the tunnels. Okay. That wants us to craft one of these. Malignant invokers are used to summon powerful malignant enemies from masses at the end of the tunnels. Invokers are used automatically when interacting with the mass. The type of mass an invoker must match. And so will the heart the enemy can drop. Okay, so that's going to give us a brutal one at the end. Powerful enemies summon to drop more powerful hearts. The rarest invokers will guarantee wrathful enemies with wrathful hearts. So, off the back of that, let's salvage up the spite one. That gave us devious icker. I quite, quite like this heart. So we'll, we'll keep this one around. So now it wants us to find a brutal outgrowth. Well, we can uh, head across and, uh, and do that. We could also go and do the dungeons in the Fractured Peaks before pushing on with this. Um, which is something I said would be worth us doing. So let's have a quick look and see what kind of effects we could get. Uh, in fact, one of the best ways would be to have a look. Show my class only. There we go. Uh, da -da -da -da. So those are season only, and they expire at the end of the season. Interesting. Okay. That's Kedjistan. We're looking for ones in the Fractured Peaks. Becoming injured. Okay, that's not interesting. While channeling Incinerate, your damage is increased by 20%. That's kind of cool, but we're not doing Incinerate right at the moment. Each time chain lightning bounces off, you get more mana. That's fine. That's a Scotland one. Kedjistan, Kedjistan, Kedjistan. Damaging in. Yep, yeah, this is a good one for us to go for. So that's going to be the first one. And maybe the Flame Walker's aspect after that. But starting off at the one all the way down here. So actually, if we go to Kyrgyzad, we'll pick up the the waypoint on the way through. That might be enough to give us an entire other skill point. We're going to need three dungeons in the Fractured Peaks at a minimum for the season journey. We can accelerate our way through all this. Get the bite berries because they're 
they're used in the Iron Barb elixirs. Bite Berry and Galavine. I like that we're, we're getting resistance increases, but also damage increases from our from our new heart that we've got socketed. Ooh, that's a lot of them, right. Kill the big beastie. And it's got a malignant heart as well. Alright. Plenty of loot from this, right? What was that new heart? That's a devious one. Which is not that interesting. Uh, this will give us more strength, but we lose our damage reduction. This gives us more intelligence, which is worthwhile. Junk, 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 junk. I can't mark that as junk. Interesting. Let's continue on to our planned dungeon. Very nearly there. And we could pick up a side quest while we're in the area as well. So heading on down, we'll grab the waypoint first. Not far away. One more, one more waypoint would uh, would get us there. An axe. But we'll also you help me. pick up the, uh, the side quest for the woodsman's axe. and then continue on to this dungeon. Actually, there's quite a lot of these. I love the, the, the fire damage. It's so effective. Ooh, we've got, we got an event we can do nearby as well for some mobiles. I think we'll do that first, then we'll head into the dungeon. Is someone there? Okay, Wayward Soul. We can do this one. Do you require my Especially with the Hydras around. You know what, we should be drinking this. I'm really quite fond of that piercing that we've got as well. There is our yeah. level 10. new target.
No, angry. Let's put on our flame shield for the last little bit. And then we'll grab all the loot. 35 obols. And some equipment. Okay, we can put our point in, we can upgrade our potion. Uh, I'll probably do the potion after the dungeon, I think. But we'll definitely do our skill point now. Having this loading screen with your character actually encourages you to not just like put on specific um, transmogs. Okay, we can make Hydra burn enemies over time. Or if we critical strike, then Hydra's gain 30% critical strike chance. Which is it's quite powerful. It's quite powerful, but I think we'll go for the burning. And keep keep leaning into that. I think that's better overall. Let's mark those as junk. So slay the demonic vanguard. Yeah. Is there anyone in here? Yes, there is. Hydra's already fighting in the other room for us. Here. Sharma's got to die. We're only really interested in the vanguard. Oh, there's one over there. Demon's heart, just a regular demon's heart, not a malignant one. Okay, one down. I think we'll carry on around the base as we were going before, unless this actually just closes up. I love that our fire shield actually burns enemies. If we can get something that gives us a permanent fire shield, that would be so incredible. Seeing as a potion's dropped, may as well take advantage of it. I think um, the, the way burning damage is done with Firebolt is the way I think poison damage should be done. Like an initial hit and then the damage over time. Somehow it feels, it feels more effective watching the enemy's health actually going down from the impact. And I think that's the, uh, the issue that I had with... Um, with poison damage on the uh, on the other characters that I've played is you you've got to wait for that effective uh, effectiveness to actually happen. And there's nothing wrong with um, with having that as a design, but it means that if you want to kill stuff now, you need to do damage now. And I don't feel that there's enough opportunity for maneuvering to like apply poison across a large area. And then take advantage of it. Okay, he's gonna die. And there he goes. Let's put our point in. Improve our lucky hit chance. 
damage reduction from elites. That's a good, good start for leaning in. Couple of, couple of ranks of this, and it will just really ramp, ramp up. I think we'll go for protection immediately after this. Those are better. Those are not good. These are better. These are better. At the moment, I'm looking more at the armor benefit that we're getting from from things. Uh, we need to travel to the actual chamber. But I am going to loot stuff on the way. Interesting. Hydra has a maximum range. It does make sense. But not something I would have considered. Okay, we've got to return the mechanical boxes. So we'll go this direction first. Does not look like there is a mechanical box in this one. I see you trying to explode me. That is so not going to happen. Right. Keep. Keep on. Let's do some fire shield in the middle of you. And we'll keep our buddy buddy Hydra around. Probably didn't need to step directly into that, make ourselves vulnerable, but it didn't really hurt as much. <laughs> there goes our damage reduction from the elite straight away. We are already getting pretty cool items dropping. Ooh, that is a lot of extra damage. Very nice looking wand. So that's that's actually like doubled the damage that our Hydra does. <laughs> Almost doubled it, it feels like. And and all of our other skills, of course. Yeah, when when the upgrades come along, if you're leveling at this pace, they can make a huge difference. Alright, let's try and take advantage of this. Cool, Crash and Burn is done. So that's giving us Pyro and Maniac. I love it. Very appropriate titles. Okay, no sign of this mechanical box yet. Take out the hell caller first. We're gonna need to head back to town to sell some stuff soon. Let's go back before this last stand. What are you going to tell me? Oh, oh yeah, about Let's equipment upgrading. Oh yeah, we can upgrade our... Um, let's get rid of all the junk. 
we can upgrade our potion as well. This is a better one. We can't use the mace. That's our old wand. We're not doing lightning damage, so this is not as good for us. That can go. That can go. Cool. Nicely cleared out. Oh, actually, it, it needs us to actually upgrade something, doesn't it? Well, let's do the weapon. Not bad. It'll uh, make it last a little bit longer for us, and seeing as it's a decent, uh, decent one, it will do. And that's actually chapter one complete. Brilliant. Okay. Well, you certainly have. I, hope so. I am not. If you've got the makings, I can mix. We can have a look at chapter two objectives and see how we're doing with them. So, with chapter one complete, can we claim all of them or just one of them? Let's have a look at the. After spending 200 mana, your next firewall is free to cast and will destroy incoming small missiles. Ooh. I think I want that more than the greater favour. Do we get them all? We get them all. Oh, we get them all. We, we can't cast firewall yet, but... So, on to... Yeah, on to chapter two. Frozen all stays in place, reaching its destination, explodes two additional times. Well, that's that's kind of cool. So left over in chapter one, we have the dungeon, which we're going to do in a moment, and then two more dungeons, and it's done. For chapter two, it's already started marking stuff that we've done. So this is really good. It means we can make progress ahead of time on other things. Yeah. Uh, unlock, uh, unlock aspects in the Codex of Power through completing dungeons. Four out of four. It's not really true because we've unlocked them through, through the chapter rewards. I think they obviously haven't tested this, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, so we can actually get... Our new uh, Artisan's Tunic. Isn't that going to be pretty? And the Journey Cache is all about herbs and some some rings and amulets. Oh, cool. So we could put a devious thing in. Well, we may as well, because we don't have anything better. And we could... Swap over and use the brutal one. Okay, well, we'll salvage those rings up for now. Father bless. What do you need? And head back in. Interesting. The workbench is actually here as well, so that's kind of cool. Right, this last stand event. We came here to purge this evil, but now I can't leave my friends here. Not like this. We can't do it alone. The only way out of this is to fight. Ah, Flame Shield heals you for 50% of your missing life. I misread that originally. Yeah, we're definitely going to need the Hydra to help us out a lot.
There's only two adventures remaining. I am trying to save them. Okay, only one guy left alive. It's not much, but I hope it helps. At least one of them survived. That's all we needed. Okay, still no sign of the mechanical box though. That is that is better. We'll switch over to that. And we'll carry on round this left side. We've actually got a level to put our point in. So I'll do that just as soon as we're safe. We'll do the uh, the barrier because any any cooldown will include things like flame shield and potentially firewall. I think it's going to be useful. If it turns out we're not getting any benefit from it, then I'll just cancel it and we'll switch to something else. Because there is going to be cooldown skills that we end up using at, at various points. We just might not have them yet. All the fiery goodness. Flamey, 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 flamey. Right, first box. Let's go get ourselves another. Everything killed in there, good. I like that we can cast the Hydra around corners. That Dirk, oh, we can use, we can use daggers. That is going to cause us more, more damage. Yeah, having, having the Hydra doing burning damage is, is just great. Really like it, especially with our fireball consuming, well, not consuming, adding additional damage on top. Damage to stunned enemies, damage to distant enemies is very useful to us. We're losing the lucky hit chance from the wand, but we can always switch back to wands later. Hydra action. The Hydra's good, but it is it's not a winner by itself. You know, you need you need other things that you can be doing while the Hydra is fighting. There is the second mechanical box. Should be a relatively quick return. Definitely take the demon heart and all the experience it wants to give us. Wait for him to appear and then. 
then get the Hydra out. I lack the needed man. Get another one underneath him. Look at how much burning damage there is on him. There we go. We have the aspect of the protector ready to be put in. That's cool. All right, let's let's head back to town. And with that aspect, we can come over and have a chat. I suppose we could have had a chat as part of the season journey, couldn't we? Tell me of extraction and imprinting. Nicely done. Okay, off these. I think we'll... Mm, I will wear that, actually. Get rid of the wand, get rid of that. Okay, got more stuff that we can salvage up. We're only a short distance away from getting another skill point here. If we were to do two side quests, that would be enough within this area. All junk under the hammer. Let's have a look at what we have nearby. So we know that there's the woodsman we can travel to down here. Let's uh, see if we can wrap that up quickly. Actually. Oh, you slow down as soon as you get in town. Who put a speed limit in town? The axe is there, but I want to make sure we're in a safe area before we entertain summoning the woodsman. I think it's probably good. There he goes. Back to town. And this one it must have been got the woodsman's axe. Now to get this so that is the one side quest done from here. What we could do is we could also just move on and get another of our waypoints. Probably the easiest one to get would be over this way. Let's go back to Kyrvishad, and then we'll we'll drive south. Drive? We'll ride south from there. I cannot do that here. Come on, we should be far enough out that we can spur our horse on. There we go. Get 
more bike berry on the way through. There are a lot of um, a lot of events that we're going to want to be keeping an eye on. Oh, and we've got whispers we can do as well. I'd completely forgotten about that. Well, we won't focus on whispers this time. I think that would uh, that would be a bit much. What is? What is going on with that? Oh, right, we've got the whole new section. Ooh, firewall or meteor? Firewall or meteor? I think f firewall is probably the, the way we're going to go first. You know what? You are a good example. I think firewall works quite well. It does take a fair bit of uh, a fair bit of mana, but we're going to get them burning for a couple of seconds after they leave it. That's going to be very effective. Ooh, big lag coming into Margrave. Okay, a little bit of Fracture Peaks for now, and we can claim that extra skill point. So that skill point is going to go into Enhanced Firewall. They take extra burning damage while standing in the firewall, and then after that, we'll probably go for Mage's Firewall. And then we can start looking at Inner Flames and... Crippling flames work on work on our lucky hits. Okay, before we finish, let's have a look at our season journey. So there's still one more objective that we can do, uh, which is going to be another two dungeons in Fractured Peaks. That's going to be relatively straightforward. Uh, we've got to do a lot of sellers, so maybe we'll focus on seller hunting next time. We do a stronghold. Getting to level 25, that's just going to take time. Yeah, most of uh, most of these will kind of coincide with uh, with stuff that's going on at a time. Before we do uh, head off, though, let's have a look at what we have. Filter by my class only. So this is the seasonal one only. After spending 200 mana, your next firewall is free to cast and will destroy incoming small missiles. That's going to be really cool to have. Um, I don't know if it's going to be better than some of the other stuff that we've got. Um, but there was one more offensive thing. Uh, not the ice shards one. Channeling Incinerate. Aspect of Conflagration. So that's going to be Light's Watch. And Light's Watch is actually really close by. So I think we'll uh, we'll head up there ready. Grab some side quests on the way, actually. It seems you're beset by evil. And then we'll finish off at, uh, at the entrance to Light's Watch. Let's just have a chat to people. See if they've seeing this chat <laughs> I should hope <sighs> have you seen Parathon? that trouble me <laughs> you're injured do you need help Don't worry and finally have you seen Parathon? why to find light Okay, so that's progressed his uh, quest a little bit. We'll need to take back uh, Lactan to his brother, but also we've got the legacies of Light's Watch dungeon and side quest. So we'll ride up there and, uh, and we'll finish there for this episode. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you are enjoying this, be sure to give a big thumbs up. 
if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Diablo 4. See you soon.